Hello GED students, this problem was sent to us by Angel at our email address, lightandsaltlearning at gmail.com. Angel was working on the slope and lines review from the crash course and got stumped by this problem. Let's take a look. It says, what is the slope of the line represented by the equation y equals negative x plus 4? Uh, first thing we need to look at is what have we been asked to do or find? So our question says, what is the slope? The slope of the line. So we've been asked to find slope. Now really super important, depending on what I've been given, my method, my um, kind of game plan for finding slope could change. So important to know what you've been given here. So look, they tell us what this thing is. They say it's an equation and look at that y equals negative x plus four. See that y and that x playing together there. We're looking here at a graph and this is the graph of that line. It says what is the slope of a line? So this here is the equation of a line. All right, knowing that, knowing that we are finding slope given the equation of the line, probably the easiest way to look at a problem like this um, is to look at the GED formula sheet. There's some important information there about equations of lines. So let's go ahead, pull up that section of the formula sheet and take a look at it. All right, so if you look at the GED formula sheet, which you will have whenever you're doing problems like this on the on the test this little section here uh, towards the bottom there's an algebra section and it has some various um formulas on it all four of these apply to lines now a lot of students would go hey i've been asked to find slope i should go right to this formula slope of a line formula but careful this is what you use when you've been given points this is to find the slope of a line when you know two points. We don't know two points. What we know instead is the equation of a line. Uh, and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to come down to this slope intercept form of the equation of a line. This is where I would head when I have the equation of the line. So look what you see here. It says y is equal to mx plus b. This is known as the slope intercept form of the equation of a line. And what you're going to notice here is that y is alone. Do you see that? And so basically when y is alone, you can see two things. When you've got y alone on one side of the equation, you can see two things. You can see your m and your b. Now you might be saying, Kate, I don't know what the heck m and b stand for. Well, <laughs> the clue is in the name here. We call this the slope intercept form of the equation of a line because it shows us the m, this slope, we use the letter M for slope in math, and the B, the y-intercept. We use the letter B to stand in for the y-intercept. So notice here, we've been asked to find the slope of this line, and we see y alone. So that means this sucker is in slope-intercept form. So I ought to be able to see the slope, the M, and the y-intercept, the B. So look at this uh, equation back here. The m is shoved up against the x, meaning the m is multiplying with the x. So basically the slope is whatever number is multiplying with x. So I'm gonna go straight to where my x is in this equation. And whatever number here is multiplying with x is the slope. Now you might say, Kate, there's no number <laughs> with x, there's just a negative sign. Um, and so now it becomes very important for you to understand something about multiplication. So I'm going to take a step back to base, more basic math to just review something with you real quick. And I promise I'm going to relate it to this. So let's think about something. Let's think about when you take the number negative one and you multiply it with anything. Like if I were to do negative one times five, well, nothing would happen to the five itself, but all that we would see happen is that the five becomes negative. Negative one times five is negative five. Similarly, if I were to do negative one times, oh, I don't know, seven, I'd get negative seven. Negative one times 11 would just change that sign to negative 11. So I see the same thing with letters, with variables. They're just numbers in disguise, so they're going to act the same way. If I take a negative one and multiply it by x, I get just negative x. 
So you look at this and you say, there's no number over here with this X. Yes, there is. If you just see a negative in front, it's like there's an invisible one, okay? Whenever you don't see a number in front of a variable, it's like there's an invisible one. Now, I'm not saying X is one. I'm saying that whatever X is, I have one of him. That's what I'm saying. So my slope here, my number that's multiplying with x is negative 1. And how mathematicians usually write that in a complete sentence is they say that the m, the slope, is equal to negative 1. All right. If you have any questions about this or any other GED math topic, be sure to drop it in the comments and I'll do my best to answer it.